welcome my friends to Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah, th this game is awesome. File yeah, and there you can see my 100% completion file. I'm very proud of that one. It took quite a while. In, in, I didn't do it in the previous version on Dreamcast, so the fact that I got it done in this one makes me really happy about that. So let's go with this new file that I set up. Yeah, I set this one up for uh, so I set this one up and I was gonna get going with it, and then I was messing about with the, with the options to see if you could turn on subtitles, and I think subtitles are on always. Hmm. Yeah. So this game's story, instead of being split into six characters, is two stories with three each. Um, they basically took the three best gameplay styles from Sonic Adventure One: Sonic, Knuckles, and Gamma. So you have Sonic and Shadow with speed, the Sonic style. You have Knuckles and Rouge with treasure hunting, and Tails and Eggman with the shooting stuff. Yes, that is actually a thing. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be doing this one exactly. Like, I think I'll be going um, back and forth um, between the, the two. I don't know how often I'll be doing that, but I will be going back and forth between the two stories. So, yeah, so... This one is Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which was actually the first of the two Sonic Adventure re-releases on GameCube. Um, so there wasn't really a substantial amount of the focus on the, the multiplayer stuff that they added. And you may notice that the game doesn't actually look all that great compared to Sonic Adventure DX. Because they didn't really upgrade the graphics at all, I think I've heard that they're actually worse. Aw, oh, see, see in the door, if you hold, in the, the Dreamcast version, if you hold A, Big the Cat's supposed to appear there. But I guess, I heard they cut most of his cameo, he has a cameo on every level, and I, I heard that they cut most of them for the GameCube version. I guess they didn't add them back in this, so I wasn't holding the button long enough, but yeah, that's a thing. Now this right here, this level, City Escape, is my favourite level in the entire series. It's got such an awesome theme and setup, and I just, I just love the entire thing. But it's a bitch to try and get, in, get the max rank on. Yeah, this is going to introduce the ranking system. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. Oh, such a good theme. It's a lot of trick shit. Whoa, no! I have to speed up. I have to keep on moving ahead. Come on, yeah! Boom! Take that, you fiend! <laughs> Alright. So you may notice that this game is actually displaying in widescreen on like Sonic Adventure 1. I don't know I don't know why they didn't Oh Damn it I'm balling this up already. But yeah, so I think um I don't know so this one came out second. Uh Sonic Adventure 1 Sonic Adventure DX uh, HD version was brought out first. So I don't know why they didn't put that in widescreen, but they did with this. It's kind of bizarre though, you will notice that the pre-render cutscenes actually don't display in widescreen and I missed that jump, damn it. I, I can be really good at this level, it's just, you know, talking can make it more difficult. Okay. Damn it, I just missed that one. But yeah, so I, I love this stage and I was really happy when they brought it back for generations, like, I was like, that's like, that's like the, the level that's, that's most, I was most happy about coming back for generations because it's great. Oh, oh, come on! Yes! What? Oh, what the fuck was that? The home, the home attack into it did nothing. Yeah, the, the, those enemies, there's one in every level, and they, they get you like a big point boost if you hit them. Damn it, I'm not doing well in this level, am I? I'll have to, I'll have to go through it again in the bonus, like with all the upgrades and that, show you how good it can be. But yeah, um, those, those little golden beetle things, that, I think that's what they're called, they appear once per level. Uh, and um, they get this huge point boost if you manage to take them out. It's great. But uh, obviously they disappear after a few seconds. And sometimes it can be quite out of the way. Yeah, you can see the grinding in this game. Like This is when they introduced the, the idea of grinding. In fact, they even changed Sonic's shoes. The idea that they, they allow them to grind. Of course, they dropped that concept in later games to bring back the old shoes. But yeah, the grinding was not great in, in this game. I don't think they really got it right until, like, Generations. Were, um, I've been cool as well, but in Generations you can just tap a button to jump from one rail to the next. 
And this you have to like aim and jump and it's like really awkward because most of the time you just send you flying off the edge to your death. So yeah, it's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? This big massive truck chasing Sonic down the street. Um Yeah, it's, it's not even hard to do this part. Honestly, I think spin dashing, which would make you run faster. This big. Damn, you didn't get crushed. Shit. But um yeah, the spin dash actually makes it harder, I find, because there's a part where you start losing momentum. Whereas if you're just running, you don't. Really, if you just hold the button. Yes! So yeah, that, that was um, a fantastic level. And it's, it's just a... Much like with Emerald Coast, it's a great way to get things going. Rank B is not hard, but I think that you have to get like a, get 20,000 or something for the um, for an A rank. It's it's just ridiculous. <laughs> you should see it. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I wasn't actually going to do um, Sonic Adventure 2 yet. I was actually planning another one, which was... It was a... Uh, it was a visual novel on the GBA, and I was using the uh, Visual Boy Advanced Emulator. But, wouldn't you know it, the built-in capture software makes these really weird, corrupted video files. And if I convert them, they end up okay, but for whatever reason... For whatever reason, once I've converted the files, they just... The audio is desynced. And it's just a complete fucking mess. And it's like, why, why would the built-in capture software be so shit? No, shit. Suck it, bitch. There's a few bosses like this, but yeah, so this is a guy working for the government. Basically, in case you've missed it, Sonic uh, has been imprisoned for something, and he's just made his escape, and he's out to prove his innocence, and now the government's on him. Because civilians in the Sonic universe, much like in the Marvel universe, are complete morons. Like, they are the dumbest motherfuckers you'll ever see. Aw, damn it. Invincibility frames, motherfucker. But yeah, so... Yeah, I love, I love how they use, the, use billboards, like, advertise like, Fancy Star Online and shit. There's even, like, a built... Planet of the Ch Chaos or Chows, and you got... There's even, um... One called... I think it was, like, Chow Adventure, at one of the billboards. But, um... Yeah, but they did that, and, like... Because that was one of the Sonic Convention 1. It was, um... Chow Adventure, like you could see it in, in Station Square, and then they had Chow Adventure 2 in this one, which is just a great little nod. But yeah, so this is kind of how a lot of boss fights in the series go on, so just avoiding the enemy until they become vulnerable. Honestly, what I'd love to see is a boss who... A, a boss that's like... Um, I'd love to see a boss that's like uh, Mr. Freeze from Arkham, from Arkham City, where they, they become vulnerable at different times, but each tactic only works once or twice, and it doesn't work after that. Yeah, I'll probably go like maybe two, three episodes, then switch. Kind of like I did with Sonic Adventure 1. Yeah. So this here is Shadow. Uh, who is basically like the most popular character in the series, other than Sonic. Like, he even eclipses Metal Sonic in popularity. Yeah, that animation's still not great. But it's better than what it was, because they're not just using like, limited animations like they were in the original. And this is a lot more spe specific. Now look how close Sonic is here. And then he's suddenly running from across the area. It's kind of silly. And I love how long it takes Chaos Control to actually work here. Whereas it doesn't take that long any other time in the entire series. I mean, even when it's doing more ridiculous stuff like time travel and why just I don't know why Shadow teleported just in front of Sonic and ran past him. I don't know, I feel like this, this scene could look probably a lot better if it's done now. Yeah. And creates a bright flash this time. <laughs> Thing is all these guys have no chance against Sonic. He can just run off easily. Yeah, desert area, just not Angel Island, just some desert area. And that's Rouge, who is basically the series' sex appeal character. I, I, that's, that's what she is. It's kind of weird. Okay, it's not kind of weird, it's very weird. In this series, that's like, I guess primarily aimed at kids. They introduce a character like that. 
who's calling who at the I don't know how, what that claw is connect, was connected to, there's no cable or anything. And there's Eggman just randomly there trying to steal the Master Emerald. I don't know I don't know why he's trying to steal it, but yeah. Also you may notice that at the um the fleshy parts of the characters that makes like flesh coloured. Um they're a lot darker in this one. More brownish and orangey. It's, a, it's an odd color colouring thing. So yeah, it's basically the same setup as last time. Like, yeah, you have to find three emerald shards per level, and of course there are 15 again, spread out across Knuckles and Rouge's levels. Yeah. And Rouge's level is a completely different location from this. The one thing they did with this one was the fact that instead of, every, instead of having a selection of levels and every character going through them in different ways, every character actually has their own unique, completely unique set of levels. Uh, one change they made with this one was that the the Emerald Radar uh, does not show uh, both. It doesn't show all the Emerald Shards at once. It only sh it shows them in a specific order. Yeah, and you get points. So basically, uh, you see, I got the perfect uh, 2,000 points. Uh, there are these uh, hint markers throughout the levels that you can find, and they will give you hints to where the, the emeralds are. But if you can find an emerald piece quickly and without using the, and using less of those hints, you get more points. So to get the, to get the, to get uh, an A rank in, in this game, you have to be able to find the emerald, the emerald pieces. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh! Oh shit! Yeah! After all, getting hit because you know I didn't have any rings then. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what the, I don't know who the fuck thought rap music was was a fit for Knuckles. It's just bizarre, really. What? Come back here, you! Don't you run away from me, you bitch! Oh, what? I didn't get the 2000. Son of a bitch. Ha <laughs> ha! Damn right it is, Knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> How's that for a way to end an episode? Ha <laughs> ha!